soon enough, you will forget. Welcome back, and thank you for continuing to join us on the evening of Dia de la Muerte, the Day of the Dead, or at least as it's viewed by those that do not walk in the day, the Day of the Undead, or the Eve of the Undead. We'll take a moment to introduce our characters, and by the way, I'm uh, Silvanov, aka the Dark Druid, David Legan, your storyteller and host for this evening. Please, if you will, welcome our fantastic set of characters and we have a special a pair of special guests this evening and we'll start with you sir good evening i am mr white led by bitwad found everywhere at at bitwad hey everybody i'm sale irish on twitch and i'll be playing javier grio hey i'm chase i'm gonna be playing jude centromane Hi, I'm Natalie. I am Nestor on all the internet, and I will be playing Sarah Strong. Hey, I'm Mark. Um, you can find me um, at Painting Plants on Instagram, and I'll be playing Luke Lennox tonight. Evening, everyone. My name is Michael Walsh. I'll play Carlisle J. Milliner this evening, and you can find me online at Venture1399. Good evening, folk. My name is Cliff. You can find me in various places under the Vintage Self. And this evening, I'm appearing as Frederick Von Doren. Hey, everyone. I'm Shastri. Uh, you can find me all over the internet as the Risa Rave. Tonight, I will be playing Blanca Rosa. Good afternoon, good evening, and good morning. My name is Trevor. I will be taking the place of the Senate Square instead of Paul Vin or Charles Nesperati or Whoopi Goldberg or J.M.J. J. Bullock. And I am playing Rico Scarlato. Also our resident expert on all things 80s. <laughs> Grognards Unite. <laughs> or Glory Esteban. <laughs> this evening started out with a gathering at the previously known as Marrakesh Farm, now known, Mr. Javier, as... As Reconquista Arms and Armaments. The place once home to the Brotherhood of Malachi, the cult and following of Mr. Ezekiel White. The place of a massacre some months back. Two. two massacres? Three, at least, three massacres? At least, at least two. At least. Subsequently, also, at the termination of season one, they suitably held <clears throat> the court of archons at the Marrakesh farm. Prior to this evening, there was a summoning of a spirit. The mother of Miss Jacqueline Deary, one of Mr. White's surviving children victims discovered quite a number of secrets answers that she was hoping for crushed hopes dashed expectations and a future no longer mired in mud one she claimed for her own concluding the opportunity to speak with the summoned spirit of her mother she cast her aside, abandoning the hope that was family, that was connection, that was a part of her humanity. And instead of keeping the fetter represented by the blue ribbon her mother often wore in her hair, 
When handed to her, she simply cast it to the ground as if it were a used tissue. Overcome with the emotions, she walked from the gathered as they continued their evening. Their intention of summoning not yet done on this Dia de la Muerte. Uh, very well. Uh, Miss Rosa, if you would mind, uh, and Javier will step in to the circle. Yes, from there you will see Blanca begins to pull um, different colored candles out uh, and in the cardinal directions will begin placing down each candle that is a color representative of the different elements. Um, after she places it down, lights the candle, she pulls out a goat head skull that has a, with at this point dried blood, a um, a sigil of warding. And she goes to the four points. And only once Javier is within the circle, she then puts the final candle and skull down. The circle they're referring to, for those of you who are unaware, is a small dug trench that smells strongly of sterno. With that, she will back away uh, quite a few paces to give Javier his room. Uh, Javier would look over his shoulder and say, uh, you all might want to step back for a moment. And with that, uh, he would reach down and light the trench. And as the sterno has had quite some time to evaporate into the air, there is a burst of fire in a ring that rises three to four feet off the ground in a complete flash in the heat and cast shadows out. Everyone, a Rosh test, please. Your unspent willpower against the frenzy of fire. We got four. One and a skull. Six. So you got a one. Yeah. One, one success. Oh, I'm sorry. Ten. Those, that was a crit. With uh, the- Blanca has not succeeded at all. <laughs> uh, given Luke's association with his own beast, could I choose to voluntarily fail for a less bad result? Fire is fire. Riding the wave will not change your reaction to a burst of fire four feet high in your face. Though, it, it, may, it may lessen your reaction to it, but if you give in to that frenzy, that that will happen. There's there's no if ands or buts, with the exception of Blanca, Sarah, and Luke. All of you have the typical reaction to a burst. Oh, you have two. That's that's you. Are you are you giving in to that fear? I'm just gonna roll two and just get away from it, but not like scared to run away from. It, but like. I'm gonna be at the, I'm gonna be as I'm gonna be as far as the farthest other person is. Like I I don't wanna be near it, but I wanna not look like I'm super afraid of it. You each have the visceral reflex of fire. Even Javier standing inside the circle, the heat, the blast of light, the leaping flames touches a primal part of you that is undeniable. Though with practice experience, most of you maintain your composure and cool in its presence. Unfortunately, Blanca, having been burned very recently on a more than one occasion, succumbs to the instant need to flee. Sarah, likewise, recoils leaping from the fire, probably nearly crushing over Frederick Von Doren as she tries to escape what must assuredly be the blaze that will take her to final death. Uh, Storyteller, I was helping Blanca, so I would like to like clasp her by the back, like by her neck, and like have her look directly at me and just say, you're fine. Blanca, I will give you a reroll minus two dice. Okay. 
And yes, uh, as I am, I am right by Miss Strong. As soon as she quails, I mean, I'm feeling it too. I'm going to grab her shoulders, twist around it right in the eyes, and I'm going to use mesmerize just to go calm. Everything is calm. Uh, rouse, please. Rico, what are you doing? Mm. I was going to ask if I could use rapid reflexes to try to stop Sarah from running away, like not tackle her, but. Uh, rapid you know, reflexes rapid. is a more defensive reflex okay. and power and ability. Why would that be? Good thought. Um, <laughs> Link would probably be better. Oh, one success. <laughs> Can you look up the unswayable mind here? It is, then, uh, it is unfortunate, Blanca, ooh. that someone is trying well. to restrain you from getting <laughs> away from this. They clearly want to throw you into it. I'm gonna. <laughs> can I? Can I use like a like a brawl strength to see if I can like hold on to her? You certainly may. Many things happen at once. Hold yes. So as that's happening, um, he, Jude, because he is so close, he'll actually begin to see, you know, he's seen this before from Blanca. He will begin to see the scars on her face start to open up um, and her eyes to start. They just begin to start changing into that kind of reptilian look that they get. I'm not activating feral weapons or anything like that, but that's, you know, her reaction is to sort of become that. Frederick, did you succeed your rounds? I did. Excellent. So, and as I was uh, just telling Sarah in the uh, in the chat, um, unswayable mind. I know this from uh, other games. Um, adds your fortitude in dice to your defense, uh, which is I'm doing dominate and is it intelligence? Uh, and the uh, resistance is resolve plus mesmerism would be a social, isn't it? So it'd be um, persuasion or composure. Light contact, or right? Hold on, I could be wrong. I've been charisma and persuasion, isn't it? It's a charisma, charisma and persuasion roll. Persuasion. I think is it charisma. Charisma plus persuasion. Mesmerize is. Manipulation and dominate Manipulation versus and dominate. intelligence and Manipulation. resolve. Yep. Okay. All of which are not shallow pools for Mr. Von Dorn. Yeah. <laughs> Maraca sounds sweet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I think I wait. I think I can handle the uh, sound effects for this. Hold on a second. <laughs> Uh, so that would be seven, there. seven successes on Van Dorn's <laughs> side. I would imagine in a frenzied state that it's it's not Sarah's will to resist much as it is to get away from the fire. What is the role? Composure to nope. resist. I just it, it is. Why did I close it? <laughs> Intelligence and resolve. Yep. Thank Plus you. your fortitude levels. Uh, just three successes. One is a ten. I fail. Oh. <laughs> Frederick absolutely gains your attention. Even in the frenzied state, the beast screaming at you to run from the fire. It is better to run than to die by flame. And as you turn from the flame to flee, you are met by the cool, entrancing eyes of the elder Malkavian Frederick Von Doren, who calmly instructs you to be calm. Takes a moment to shake that need to flee in a moment of survival, but his presence, his control of words and the way he expresses envelops Sarah's beast, blankets it, quiets it, pets it into submission. A sensation of calm comes over Sarah that she hasn't known 
since her days of breathing. Unfettered by the ties of the family or a hundred years of servitude. And then once she visibly calms, I'll slowly release your shoulders and say, my great apologies for putting hands on you. But we are feeling better, yes? Yes, thank you. Wonderful. Yes. I could not... Yeah. Meanwhile. It is, it is my pleasure to assist. Unfortunately, I'm still new at all. Oh, you cannot tell. Strength and brawl, sir. Yes, I did. So I am I roused I failed the rouse, I'm at three hunger. <laughs> cool, 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 cool. <laughs> <laughs> so long you've kept me quiet. So long you blanketed me in silence. You might have fun later Soon, tonight, my but friend, not now. The dead call the blood boils. And I need to feed. We do. I rolled strength brawl, and I spent a willpower, and I got a messy crit with uh, six successes. Blanca, <laughs> you have either a strength and dexterity, okay, or a strength and brawl in which to resist Jude's grappling hands, which are phenomenally skilled at resisting people. <laughs> it's as if he's practiced wrestling the dead. Strength and brawl, brawl or strength and dexterity is what you're telling me. He is physically keeping you near the flame. Yes, sir. As I, I see Jude about to uh, go beyond PG-13 with his hands, I'm going to be en route to assist him. You see, mm. of course, Sarah turned <clears throat> to flee, stopped by words from the elder vampire amongst you. Yes. Clearly someone of skill. Rico, Luke, Javier, likewise. The display of control over other kindred is a little sobering. Hmm. Yeah, Luke's gonna like come up behind him, put his shoulder, his hand on Mrs. Strong's shoulder, and say, uh, Miss Strong, are you okay? I heard never used to do that. Um, okay, so strength and dexterity is what I'm gonna go with. Oh my god. <laughs> That's one success. Um with ones on the blood die. <laughs> so she struggles you in me. your grasp futilely, attempting to flee, flailing at you, her feet flying in a flutter underneath you as she attempts to flee effortlessly. You hold her at bay. I, well, I I wanted to like grab her neck, like as a, mm -hmm. to like look at me and the the bestial, just very like knowing Blanca and like knowing what her face does. I think I'm just gonna go to like kiss her. Okay. <laughs> so well. like to stop the her mouth from like expanding into like a snake mm -hmm. and like consuming me because that is also a fear. Yes. I think that's the first thing that my lizard brain thought of. Well. Lizard Brain grants you yet another reroll with the same two dice penalty. It is okay. exceedingly Lizard distracting <laughs> that this dark entity you know is a master of death. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, in this place, mm -hmm. at this time, under these circumstances and the events of the evening, mm. grabs your attention by kissing you. That's four successes. There uh, is this crit. So. He has successfully gotten your <laughs> attention. The person who hates being touched mm -hmm. has 
grappled you, manhandled you, and pulled you into, I don't know, a peck or passionate kiss? What would it look like as your jaws are splitting the scars in allowing your mouth to expand, exposing teeth as if they were about to swallow his face? Von Doren, this is quite entertaining. I mean, aside from you show up, there's a blast of fire, people are running. <laughs> this is much better than standing in an empty field. I was expecting a party and I got a show. This is awesome. Bloody. Down into the because ring of fire. The, as the skin, you know, begins to rip, it is all blood. Um, and after a moment, she calms, pulls back, smiles and says, so you do care about me. And immediately, like, let go and then wipe my face. She giggles and then, now that she's been calmed, will return to her spot closer to the, the circle. You will be a dice down for any frenzy checks for the rest of the evening, Miss Blanca. That's good. That's good. We love that. Okay. <laughs> I will make a note. You too good? Fabulous. She clearly does not look fabulous. Despite having just broken frenzy, she is still visibly shaken from the fire. Are, it's not were, you referring, were you referring to me? I was referring to, to both of you, but obviously you, cousin. I'm fine. I don't think it requires any further explanation. You would head back. Javier, these constant interruptions in your planned events are starting to whittle your good nature. Hey! Not for this shit, man. Take control. Do your thing. We got shit to do, huh? I'm not even going to say anything or wait. I'm just going to start. Uh, so you would basically see as as all of this was finishing up and Jude said, I don't think that needs to be explained further. You would see Javier splash uh, a viscous red liquid on uh, the medallion in his hand and say the name white show yourself and would wait he would come rapidly in a puff of burning stench of ash fire white birch and a bit of formaldehyde unlike before when he was seen by those at the previous summoning of Jax's mother, this time he resembles his last moments of unlife. Charred, flesh crisping on the cross as he was staked and burnt. The spectacular. Visible to all present, the thinned veil clearly asunder. This has been quite the evening. Fuck. <laughs> That's a good look for you, White. See the party. <laughs> I've seen interesting things. <laughs> Especially you, Mata Dolorosa. Is a good thing. <laughs> Yeah, it's very touching, White. Uh, and Javier will reach into his robe and grab another bottle. Uh, no, 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 no! Again, with red viscous fluid. And he would fling it at uh, me, me. the remnants of Mr. White and hold his medallion and reach into his robe and pull out a pair of tin snips and hold me, them me. to the medallion and saying, you will answer honestly and serve me until I tell you otherwise. He flings a vial of what could only be blood, the smell of copper. Instead of passing through the apparition, 
it actually sticks to him, further giving him a bit of tangibility. The threats issued by Javier, there is a visible recoil in Ezekiel's countenance as the shears near the piece of metal that represent the Brotherhood of Malachi, the last vestiges of what was once his cult. Luke, you've heard some stories, but this is some of the craziest shit you've ever witnessed. I'm, yeah, Luke is fucking out of his, he's fucking blown away. Like, he's talking about ghost shit, and he's seeing a ghost right now. He doesn't fucking like it. This is as real as ghosts get. As whatever substance hits me, my head will do the classic 360 from The Exorcist. As he shouts and screams, Obey! I obey! Master! I obey! Yes, yes, obey! Anybody obey. with okay. oblivion sight, since the unseen, may have a role. A roll for what? What am I rolling? What comes next? Oh. <laughs> I think the only two people here is me and Luke. Yep, we can't see anything. <laughs> so what are we rolling? Mm-hmm, You're mm-hmm. rolling your wits and insight. Or wits and occult. Okay, and then I get uh, a minus uh, one. Yes. No, that's uh, okay. for anything to resist frenzy or other such provocations. Oh, okay. Do I get a point for my specialty? Uh, yes, for sure. So wits and occult. And uh, can I blood surge? If you so desire. Please rouse. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. That's 50 successes, Dave. <laughs> uh, three successes. Three as well. Um, also, real quick, ST. So, uh, premonition is passive. Um, and it doesn't have like an ending scene or anything like that. You know, it's, so. Should anything come to me? <laughs> Just so you know, that's Fear happening. Not. <laughs> Fear not. Did you pass your rouse check, Javier? I did pass the rouse. I'm oh, rolling right oh, now. Luckier Ooh. than you were last night. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, uh, this might turn out poorly. Sorry. Fira oh. will um, grab Luke's arm because she's noticing that Luke is getting... Uh, Go shit crazy. <laughs> <laughs> He's getting a little nervous. <laughs> so if you had three or more successes, a second apparition seems to appear uh, almost coalesced over and on top of Ezekiel, and a second voice can audibly be heard even without rolls. But those who can see do see. There's another form of Mr. White. Uh, those of you who who chose occult roles, okay, me, you would probably understand that this is something uh, that has been whispered as the shadow. Oh, it's in the wrong place. Oh, I forgot I moved them. <laughs> Technical faux pas. This has been rumored or written in loose tomes and terms and hinted of as. A spirit's shadow, and it begins just flailing at him verbally. You are going to die, Zeke, again and again and again. It's going to be fabulous, and you're never going to escape it. He's going to trap you and put him in his little pocket, and there you will stay because that's what you deserve, you piece of filth. We know what we are. You don't know the half of it. We are legion. You are nothing. This place is dead just like you. Oh, uh, Blanca will start giggling when she hears all of this and sees it. Um, She remains in her place, but she does start, you know, having a little little giggle fit. Even your (laughs) puppet master has come... For the festivities, he gets to enjoy it too. How's it feel, White? 
It's like the spider coming to the fly. <laughs> Luke, Sarah, yes, grabbing hold of you as this unfolds, seeing your uncomfort. Is yeah. something the matter, Mater Dolores? Would I have heard anything like this in my uh, studies in the library in preparation? I'll do a quick um, intelligence and occult. You can add the oh. library dice. Oh, oh the, sweet spot. Oh shit. Okay. Maraca of death. Yeah, I know what that <laughs> roll looks like. Roll me maracas, baby. Uh ten and a critical. <laughs> um, <laughs> Amazing. You have what is his mother in law's name? Come across <laughs> uh descriptions of these occurrences. So while they don't have any real evidence of it, there are enough anecdotal that you can understand that this is part of if you live the afterlife, that the other half of your being comes to be a part of your everlasting, everlasting torture. We are a package. <laughs> Lovely. Uh, we have questions, White, and you are going to have answers. First of all, talk to me about the cave. I know you have been there with your band of whatever. Oh, no, have the cave, have the cave. No, 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 not talk, not talk, no, no, said not talk, said not talk, no. Yeah, tempt him. That's a good no. idea. Javier's just going to roll his eyes, not that you could see it through the sunglasses, uh, but he's going to roll his eyes and just kind of like... Squeeze the uh, the tin snips on the medallion just slightly. Like, were you not paying attention, stupid? Do you actually indent the fetter? Uh, uh, no, it's more like a scraping along the, the surface. Do you do it against the front or it the sides? It doesn't matter. There is a, a piece of the, the, cor the incorporeal essence that is... Mr. White, that seems to be cleaved off, even at the gentlest scrape from the tool in Javier's hand, it sloughs and disappears into nothing. There is a rending sound. There is a tearing of his soul that can echo into the audible verse. I was using that. <laughs> no longer. The cave, <laughs> White. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, the game. Yes, yes, yes. The dark. The voices. I can't see. I can't hear. Right, Van Dorn? You said that. Yes, yes, you said that. What else did you see in the cave? I saw lots. Yes, yes. A girl. I saw, I saw, I saw a girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A girl. Uh, Does this uh, girl have a name? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 um, uh. Calabria, uh, Taleb, no, 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 Celestria, yeah, 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 yeah. Celestria. I, I, I don't know what she is, but uh, Javier will look behind him and just be like, someone write that down. I'm not going to remember this nonsense. All right, White, then I what? A, I pull out a black book that I have in my uh, purse, clutch purse, and uh, write that down for him. Uh, uh, ST as, knowledge. Oh, go, sorry, go as, as Sarah puts his hand off Luke, Luke immediately like darts back five paces away from the fire circles. <laughs> <laughs> a question for you, Dave. Mm -hmm. What was the name we were going with for that individual that owned that club? Um, wait, what? Lily, was that, was that the name we were going with? She's the owner of the Succubus Club in Baltimore. Yeah, okay, that's, okay, I didn't know if we were going, which name we were going by, Lily or Evelyn or something. Okay, more, yeah, more, I have more, yeah. yeah more, yeah. yes, um, spill. Um, yeah, yeah, there was a ball, and it split, yeah, it split. Blood was put in it. 
yeah, yeah. Blood was blood. a bowl that split after the blood was put in it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Lovely. Then what happened? And big earthquake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big earthquake, all over the place. Yeah, all over the place. Yeah, 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 yeah. Twice. Javier will look behind him. Does anyone? Was there an earthquake here recently? <laughs> yes, yes, there was. <laughs> um. Would I know of the ritual that he's speaking of with the blood being poured into the bowl and it breaking? Um, ST? One moment, please. Mm-hmm. See me look up to the right. <laughs> <laughs> I read DMs and uh, answer eight let me, of them at Let once. me consult my notes real quick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I don't need to consult the notes for this one. Uh, uh. Just, just a moment. Um, Blanca is still giggling, by the way. You know, as she's hearing all this, she's like having very much a, a fit <laughs> of giggles. Rico is standing close to the flame to not be just like not like standing where you can get on fire, but mm-hmm. standing what some might call uncomfortably close. Yeah, yeah. Javier, can you tell um, Mr. White that the excessive words aren't necessary? Just get to the point. Okay, okay, okay. Agreed. White, you heard the man. Short and direct. Blanca, what was your question? Um, So when he speaks about the, the blood being poured into a bowl and then it breaking in half, would I have any kind of knowledge of what that it was, what kind of ritual that is? Um, I will give you your in- intelligence occult, and you can use your level of blood sorcery. Okay. So probably want to surge for that role. I'm just saying. I don't know. There's a lot of <laughs> hunger floating around this room right now. Uh, hey, hey! I got a whole cooler full of snacks. Don't we you all worry. Can't, we, we all can't feel. eat that. I can't eat that. <laughs> um, okay. Eat that. So, okay. So you said intelligence and occult. Plus your blood sorcery if you have it. And then blood sorcery. Where are we at? Okay. 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 Should be a fairly respectable role for you. It is. Okay. Hold on. Uh. That is eight successes. With eight successes, the unfortunate part is, is yes, this sounds like a, any number of a thousand different Shamir rituals that mm-hmm. involve a bowl and blood without mm-hmm. more detail. It's hard to, to narrow that down. But as the conversation progresses, I will remember your rule of eight successes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. More. I'll tell more. Yeah. Uh, uh, Sir guy. Yeah. Yeah. 13, 13, 13 in a row. Like a clock. Uh, uh, a clock has was, uh, 12, not 13. Is it yeah, like a yeah. clock or is it not? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, one was broken. Yeah, yeah. One was big broken. I think he's just suggesting they were laid out in a circle. Uh, you said one was broken. Was there any writing on them? ST, was there writing on them? I think so. There was. Yeah, 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 yeah. Script. There were etchings, there were inscriptions in several languages, least of which uh, some form of ancient Babylonian or Sumerian, you wouldn't know. There were pictographs, uh, some resembling some Egyptian hieroglyphs. Um, you were not a linguist, nor much of an occultist. Um, so no, the but specifics I, I will, would not be be prevalent to you or pertinent to you. You would know who would know, though. Yeah, I'm getting there. Did you uh, or your friends take any copies? Uh, uh, poet did. Yeah, yeah, the poet did. The poet did. Poet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need a name, White. You're testing my patience. Uh, you kind of scribble on the ground what the pictographs kind of looked like. Uh, uh, they look like this. And uh, po, 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 uh, uh, Keats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like, like the poet. 
Keats. Keats. Yeah. He makes okay. a lot of finger Keats. motions as if he's trying to mm. scribble in the ground, but his incorporeal body is ineffectual at scribing in the dirt. Um, is this some sh- sort of joke? We we know that Keats is a literary figure. Ew. I knew him. I knew him. What more do you know of him? He he had a special book. Special book. Yeah. You want me to talk about it? I can talk about it. Who is this person, White? Get to the point. Former quartering mate. Yeah. 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 He 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 liked, he liked the big secrets. Okay. He, he, he can walk in the sun. What clan? He can walk in the sun. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, <laughs> Blanca uh, has suspicions about a particular person um, because of, of experience she, she had with this individual. Um, however, I need a reminder on what they look like uh, to which I would relay to Javier in order to say if this is the same person. He has a scar on his hand. Scar on his hand. Yeah. What did the scar look like? Uh, Wait. The, the, the onk. The onk. The onk. The onk. The onk. Yeah. Blanca? His, his onk. And he, and he just points a meaty claw over at Van Doren. His onk. Uh, I think it was a crescent moon. It was a crescent moon. <laughs> it was a crescent moon. Um, so Blanca will say to Javier... Ash, Ash, uh, uh, it. We met this individual uh, recently. They had a, a brand of a of a crescent moon on their hand, Scott. which means which means oh, that bit yes. about the elders is correct. Yes, they Mater. had spoken of Mierda. Mater, I have a question. How many eyes? Yes. You see Blanca's eyes go really wide. Um, and she, so she'll say two out loud. She says two, only two eyes. Um, but she did have an experience with this person, um, with, with Ash, where she was able to share their senses um, and got images of them in possibly a previous life. Uh, to which she would correct herself and say three. Three eyes. What? Three. Three no eyes. Him. Three eyes. Ash. I, I don't. Ah. This Keats. Uh, I don't know, but Ash. I, I heard that the Camarilla brands all of their thin bloods with the crescent moon. Are we talking about the same? Yes. Yes, we are. Elijah's yeah. leather. Hmm. And, and 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 oh 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 there were werewolves too yeah 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 he 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 knew werewolves I think or we fought him I don't remember. Well, wait, why? Yes, 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 yes. Why? Why were the guru there? Yes. And that's only the answer you're going to get out of that that question. It's just a repeating chant of yes, 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 yes. Hmm. Don't know. Yes, yes. Uh, Blanco uh, will look uh, at Sarah at the mention of of wolves. The utterances of Mr. White degrade into incoherent babbling as his voice and what you know as the voice of his shadow begin to scream and yell back and forth incessantly, taking his attention clearly from you despite the threats oh yes oh, yes Blanca looks over at Sarah at the mention of wolves Sarah, Sarah sees Blanca and then turns towards Luke mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what are interesting Luke do you have something to say he has to be. 
He has to be fucking lying. That's Why? The There's no way. There's no way the two tribes could get back together. They can't work together. There was a white hand. <laughs> Wait, a hand? Yeah. Held her down. Hand. Stabbed in the chest. Yeah. It was violent. I liked it. Is this Wait. A hand a hand stabs something in the chest. You sound the fool like you did in life. Congratulations. You've confused them further. Good job. Keep it up. You're as useless now as you were then. Nothing's changed. How well, does it what feel? Is, Hobby, what to get get him to answer what is the hand? What is the hand, White? And I'll scrape the you medallion again. Use, and there is clearly a gash ripped across the visage of Mr. White. There's a wailing of pain from both voices as a small <laughs> sliver of metal is torn from the fetter. And there is a moment of silence from the second voice. As that happens, Blanca's smile begins to get extra wide, and the parts that tore continue to tear at the sight of, of what's happening to Mr. White. It was, it was, um, um, elbow, elbow up, big, meaty, dog like, but not dog. Man yeah, dog. guru. Yeah. So he had a uh, guru. Go- uh, Severed Appalachian. guru hand. Appalachian. So he had a hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They, 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 they took a friend's hand. And, and, so, and, and, and warning Luke, hand. May I have a composure roll, please? From Luke. Luke. From Luke. From Luke. <laughs> oh. What, what is a composure roll? <laughs> you are rolling your composure. Power. Oh, just composure? Just composure. Okay. <laughs> they only do. Man, that was fun. Ah, uh, Jimmy, Gene, something like that. Took his hand. Okay. Okay. Rolling the dice. Okay. One success. <laughs> Luke has small beads of blood sweat forming on his forehead as the mention of this severed hand is repeated over and over. There's maybe even a tinge of guilt or association. You're not sure, but he is definitely affected when this subject comes up. Luke, you seem to be sweating blood, which is probably the equivalent of pissing your pants. What is what do you know about this hand? The hand? He started at the three monkeys. Where did you get the yes. hand? The hand? Yes, it was at the monkeys. Yes, Why? the hand. The hand. Why? Luke, tell him. Speaking him, another man. fucking language. You know you want that fame. Come on, we took that shit. You were gonna sell that finger, remember? Ah, uh, uh, I. Go on. Maurice, Maurice's place, yes. Sarah's kind of standing there expecting from Luke, like she would in the old days when he was her uh, employee. TikTok, Mr. Lennox. Look, okay. I found this hand, this garden hand, and there was a sigil above it. Yes, yes. And I stored it away. Well, no. Where? Where did where? you find the sand? Some somewhere by the train tracks. I don't know. Some some. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At Keats' place. Yeah, at Keats' place. Yes, yes. Keats. Keats' place. Interesting. In your whole so worm. We... Shut your mouth. It's none of your fucking business. <sighs> Mister Lennox, we need to go back to that location. At your earliest convenience, I, I have a feeling we'll find something interesting there. Anyway, they, 
they they blew the place up the next day. No, they didn't. <laughs> Laka will leave the circle, go back to her car, grab her burner phone. She still has Ash's number. Uh, and she's going to text Ash and say, can we meet? Uh, moment. Do you... <laughs> Ah, uh, Carlisle's gonna head over to Luke, and he's gonna stand right beside him, facing everybody else, and says, "Remember when you told me to go fuck myself?" Yes. Well, this is one of those moments where you tell the truth, I can help you. So please, everything you know. Luke, there's an instant as you form a response in the back of your head, the beast tickles the back of your knees, your ankles and the bottom of your feet. There's this hot to run. This is not your fight. These people are not your people, and they are going to get you killed. Mr. Lennox was a... <laughs> a question. Blanca, your phone know, rings. Millionaire. Go ahead, Luke. What do you want to know, millionaire? How's the know. Spot? the exact location, and I'm going to accompany you over there. Yeah, like I said, it's by the train tracks, but the place is burned down now. Well, it seems you and I have a history of finding things buried in the ground. I have a feeling we can rekindle that magic. Let's hope it turns out better than last time. Uh, Mr. 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 Big Guy, yeah, next to the, the the sweating one, yeah. Um, find a find a magic book with a nod on it, yeah. That might help. What? Is a ghost talking to me? Oh, you can hear, Mr. White. Repeat that. Everything. Did you just say there's a book of what there? Uh. Yeah, it nods. The book nods. Hmm. Interesting. And it is. Amongst and, all and, of and, this, there and is my the teachings are there. incessant ringing of Blanca's phone. I immediately pick it up. <laughs> Ash? Uh, yeah, hey, what's up? So, I heard mm -hmm. about maybe a friend of yours from the past. Did you go spelunking with said friend? Wake somebody you shouldn't have? What? Or did your people do so? You're going you're gonna to have to be, like, a, a smidge more specific, please, for me. Okay. Uh, where can we meet? Um, I'm not busy. Um, I will give you, um, ask, get, give with Ruth, and I'll meet her at the same place I met her. Uh, Damien will probably be there and really creepy and, uh, uh, stalk you, so, um, just be on the lookout for him it'll be by the lake and off the highway so mm -hmm. we're not gonna murder you um so don't worry about that <laughs> i'm not worried um did you used to own or currently own special magical books oh if, if you're talking about the book of nod um yeah i totally have a like copy of the book of nod uh -huh. but i don't have the original um that was taken by the uh camarilla okay 
I'll get together with Ruth. I'll uh, see you it, soon. You know, our, uh, Archon Anthropos and then the other venture Ar- Archon. Oh, I see. Mm-hmm. Right. Okay, well, I'll get together with Ruth. Meet you soon. Yeah, see you soon. So she hangs the middle out. of this, there was the, <laughs> the abrupt change of audible, the phone ringing. Frederick Von Doren kirks ahead to one side as Blanca answers the phone, clearly paying attention. Uh, the conversation between Luke and Milliner and Grio continues. And Mr. White. And Mr. White. <laughs> Uh, just so everyone knows, I uh, I went to my car, so I'm nowhere near where everyone else is at. Yeah, but heightened senses is a thing. Okay. Well, no, you know, I just want to let everybody know. <laughs> Y'all do what you gotta do. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, let's see. Let's see. Um, oh, oh, and uh, don't go down there. No. Um, I can, I can, I can, I can, I can take you there or tell you. Yeah. You want me to tell you? All things in time, White. You'll be around for a while. Well, good. a little while. Good, good. Maybe we can end my suffering, please. Maybe. I'll think about it. <laughs> That's only just begun. He's not gonna kill you, you simpleton. Cousins, anything else we think this uh, what? whatever can answer? Me- defense mechanisms does this cave have? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Jimmy Hoffman's buried? A moment. You, 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 you mean, uh, the gangster? There is a audible choking sound emanated from Mr. White's apparition as the other visage around it seems to grapple his incorporeal throat. Incorporeal throat. Yes, sir. I would see this. Oh, for sure. We all do. Immediately would go into Shadow Cloak. Oh, and then I'm going to use Voice of Sticks. And I would Ooh. turn to the second voice. Will you describe and I would say, this ability for us? So... Voice of Sticks, you would see shadowy chains come up from behind his back, wrap around his throat as the shadows cover him, and he would turn towards the second voice, and as he spoke, you would hear an audible rattling of the chains, and he would say, You will release him now. There's a moment where the voice of Mr. White is utterly silenced. A visible tightening as CJ is cloaked in darkness. The shadows leap at him with some vi- some celerity. He summons the abyss. The chains stick out from behind him and he speaks to the thing assaulting the spirit of Mr. White commanding him to be silent intimidation not anything uh dominate amidst the moments it dissipates and evaporates at carlisle jacob milliner's command these two luke sarah blanca cj and javier <laughs> have quite the command over things that shouldn't even be there. Let alone Dr. Germain's display back at the hospital and other places. These two command the afterlife. (coughs) Fucking great company you you choose, Luke. Get us the fuck out of here. So, how do we head to the place now? No, I have more to say, and you might like it, Mr. Lennox. What defense mechanisms, White? You're testing my uh, patience. I'm sorry, I can't control him. <laughs> um, um, lightning. Yeah, yeah. 
Don't, don't, like, don't anger it. Don't anger her. She, she guards it like a dog. Yeah. Celestria. Um, uh, uh, oh, 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 I know. I, I remember now. Um, I, I remember where I, 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 I know the name. Yeah. Uh, um, a letter. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know where it is. Crowley. Letter. Yeah. Who? Crowley. 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 Jack was Crowley. Yeah. Good friend. Good friend. Yeah. Um, um, talking about, um, um, a girl, Celestria, 400 years ago, 500. I don't remember. And, 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 um, uh, uh, and you see him kind of like scratch at his face to kind of, should I say this? And he goes quiet for a second. Spit it out, wife. <sighs> My God is back. <laughs> In the end. Who's Michael? Vikos. 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 Lovely. But, but, he's dead. I think. Maybe. I don't know. But, but, in a letter that Crowley has. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the gentry. Over you're in the saying, world. are you saying Crowley knows Vikos? It's pen pals of Vicos. Uh, uh, friends? I I don't know. I don't know. I, I I didn't talk much. Um, but but letter? Yeah, one, just one, just one, just one. What? What? I don't know. Sorry. Van Doren uh, is Crowley one to consort with. Uh, one as such as Vicus. That I'm aware? Not in the least. <laughs> How's your book, Van Doren? <laughs> this is every bit as fascinating as the seances that they held back in the 10s and 20s. Awesome. Wonderful. Amazing. Of course, your subject matter, white. Such a disappointing child. And it seems that um, after one departs the unliving to an even deeper state of not being, he continues to be disappointing. Oh, Ezekiel, I had such high hopes, but you thought you were a scriptwriter, and you were only ever really a, an extra. I Mr. See. Van Dorn, are you not impressed? Because if you wish, I can give you a performance that can outshine this. Oh, I'm, I find this amazing. The, the the visuals, the sounds, the information. Uh, I mean, the spectacular everyone saw. Vicos was delivered and proven to be a complete fake. Why is he? And here Ezekiel is trying to write an interesting story with half-baked ideas. It's Ezekiel, oh, my boy. I, I always wish the best for you, but you seem to have such visions of grandeur for yourself. And well, I did compel him to speak the truth, but unfortunately, that only means that he believes it's true. Ah, oh. Well, here's the question: When is a yeah. person both alive and dead? I can take off my hand if you want. Perhaps when there's more than one with the same name. Mm. Oh, oh, oh. Um, I'm not sure I'm supposed to say this, but um, 
I have a good secret to whisper in your ear. I'm all ears, White. <laughs> um, does the, what's the name Farsi mean anything? Farsi? Yeah. Big guy. Seven foot. Reptilian. Likes to sit on women's laps. Or likes women to sit on his lap. Yeah. No. Um, um, Archon. Yeah, yeah. That's the title they gave him. About like Damien? Damien? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, Damien. I didn't Good realize friend. he had a last name. Good um, friend. Yeah, uh, does the phrase speak without your fork tongue serpent mean anything to you? Damien took us down there. Brought back somebody. Uh, uh, Tremere, I think. No, 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 no. Toridor. The prince. Wait. <clears throat> Let me get this straight. Fiona, the current prince, was found in that cave. Yeah. And, and, and Van Dorn was too, I think. Maybe. I don't know. We lost him at the mansion. He oh, wait, the mansion. Um, um, <sighs> what was her name again? Um, wait, Claire, wait. Claire. Van Dorn, were, were you in the cave? I was never missing. But we saw I am God. wondering when the intermission is occurring and we can get on to act two. This is an amazing play. I am uh, being able to witness as much as one can witness through hearing um, where poor Ezekiel's mind is apparently gone. And I do mean gone. Uh, quite the trip. The drugs helped <laughs> for what it's worth. Yes, but, it's no. a great play, but the dialogue is boring, and Javier will scrape it again. Yes, sir. Now, I will say that that second voice that got frightened off by the, the dark and spooky Mr. Milner, um, that voice was uh, quite intriguing, and I was enjoying its participation very much. Uh Storyteller. Yes. From my research, I did hear a name from Mr. White. Do I join it to the research that I had from Luke a long time ago? Which name? Claire? Certainly. I mean, it was definitely established that Mr. Lennox's B&E uh, uh, has been traced back through the Strigoi Shadow Company or Shell Company, as it were, to some of the St. Clair holdings, partly responsible for the souls that have moved in and out of the no longer Marrakesh farm. Uh, Elizabeth, uh, uh, St. St. Clair, yeah, 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 yeah. Purple, like her, yeah. Um, Interesting. Her place, go to her place. Underneath. We're not welcome in Ventru territory. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, uh, there was another place, um, um, any, any kind of, like, paces back and forth between each of the four corners of the skulls, uh, ST reminder of the, um, shell company's name? It's not a goy. No, 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 the other one. Which one? There. <laughs> You're talking about the one that Victor holdings. used. Um, the one that Victor used. Is it the, the of. one of the uh, airports? Like well, underneath yes. it? There's the parent. There's one of the parent companies, which is the St. Clair Enterprises, St. Clair Holdings. There's any number of St. Clair ad title here. Yeah. Um. Uh. Powell. Powell. Yeah. Powell. Powell Contracting. Um. Underneath. Yeah. Yeah. Go down under. Tunnel, tunnel, underneath pal okay tunnels yeah, yeah. to the caves and, underneath and, pal contracting yes and 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 um 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 
St. Clair's is a, a, a airport. Yeah, yeah. You go in the back, and you go left, and then you go down. What do you need to Interesting. Um, or a really angry uh, dingle. Yeah, one or two. Or a bra. I might know one. Uh, Mr. White, I don't want to know anyone you know. But you do. You know him. I know you do. <laughs> the Scourge. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Van Dorn, who is the Scourge of the Camarilla? Tim Toon. Yes, uh, currently I believe the Scourge uh, for this domain is uh, Timothy Toon. Good friend, good friend. Many adventures. He got shot a lot. Delightful. I'm sure I'll get the chance to ask him lots of questions. Yeah. What else, Mr. Um, White? Calalupo. Yeah, yeah. You know her? Yes. What about Miss Lupo? <laughs> Indeed. He has lots of secrets. What about the primogen of the Nosferatu, the information broker? What do you have on her? Uh, that she conspired, I think. I don't know. It was a little weird. Conspired? Conspired for what? Against who? Uh, so, um... She's a Nas. Of course she's conspiring. That's what they do. So we, had a little... we all conspire. What do you mean singling out the Nosferatu? Who uh, here does I... not have plans going on? Lift your hands up, please. Okay. And no hands are in the air. Okay, okay. Um, We are at a party with uh, Crowley. And uh, she came in. And there was a spot member. And she jerked his head off. To silence him, I think. And um, she was good friends with um, um, the venture, but but uh, she was also good friends with the former sheriff or current sheriff. I don't know. I don't read the paper. So what I'm hearing is a primogen killed a Sabat member, and I'm supposed to take that as what now? Yeah, and friends with people in the court. Yeah. Um. Um. Her. 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 Her mother. I knew her. And and she liked to hunt the Sabat. She ate people. And, Kylo, um, Kylo Lupa's mother hunted the Sabat. No, 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 no. Annabelle did. The child of, of Damien, I think. We're I not asking. Know. We're not. Who, I don't care who the Sanibel person is. Okay. Kylo Lupo. Okay. She she came in and said we were all fucked. And and, and then she came in and saw the guy and said nothing. And then ripped his head off. Like, pop. You know, like this. He grabs his head trying to pull it off. It Keep tugging, Mr. White. I don't think this is going anywhere. Um, uh, oh, she, she talked with, um, Annabelle's daughter, uh, uh, what was her name? The former sheriff, Van Dorn, you know her. Um, Ramona. Yes. Yes. Who, who, who was Sabat? Yeah, yeah. Ramona was Sabat. And, and, and she knew things. Like at the at the at the at the train yard, in the blood. Oh oh, and um um, oh, what was his name? The fat guy, the big fat guy. Uh uh uh. St. De Blair. Yes, sir. That would be the Bruja. That would be the Bruja Brumgen. Former. Walter Quince is the Walter name you're looking Quince. for. Thank you. Frederick, it is evident and clear that the madness you seated has sprouted bloomed and blossomed into the most beautiful jungle that is Mr. White. It is most gratifying to see your efforts were not for naught. Yes, Walter Quince. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was Sabat. And, and, and he had a, 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 a curriculum. No, 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 not curriculum. Uh, uh, Ridicule, yeah, yeah, with 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 uh, Bra and and Ramona and and, and they all they, they 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 all gone, they're all gone. But but Kyla knew all this. And she knows more. Talk to her. Yeah, yeah, good idea. Lovely. Again, such a disappointment, Ezekiel. We all wrestle with the visions that we are granted in our family, and 
Most of us can keep our nose above water and our head on our shoulders, but well, apparently you cannot, did not, and continue to not be able to keep things together. <laughs> your your <laughs> madness is delicious, but at the same time, these fine gentlemen are asking for such basic information, and all you can do is lead them on a merry dance through the interestingly <gasps> colored corridors of your mind. We're off to see the wizard. We talked about this with Kylo. Okay. Okay. I'll be concise. That'll Kylo. be a change. Have you ever been concise, Ezekiel? Not, well, perhaps in the days before, but not since you were introduced to the night. Yes, Blanca. Blanca returns from the car from within that black bag that she had, you know, um, the the things for the ritual. She's going to pull out, I believe they're called gilly, gilly flowers. Yes. She, yeah. She's going to pull them out uh, and get closer to the circle. And if she can toss them into the circle towards Mr. White. I know moment. that smell. A moment. Javier, as you continue to hold the ritual in the back of your mind, you see Miss Rosa return from her car, clutching some flora of some kind. As her arms raise, she clearly means to break the circle and cast them aloft in your direction. There is a moment of look as Blanca lets go of these flowers from Grio as the onyx flame again bursts from his eyes. There's a stern consternation maybe anger frustration or antagonism as they cross the circle there is an instant presence again riding Ezekiel's incorporeal presence this time it says nothing it digs its claws and teeth into the flesh or what would be the flesh of Mr. White and begins to drag it into the ground, screaming and cussing at him in words of angst, accusation, punishment. Enough of this. It is time you are to be judged. <laughs> It's time. <laughs> yes, it is time. I'm bored. Are we done here? I think we have everything we need, cousins. Uh, let's see. Um, Dave, the just, darkness. Oh, just oh. do it. Oh, uh, oh, oh one excellent. Thing. One thing. One thing. One thing. Doctor, I think, Mister. Yeah. You. You were angry. You were angry. Yeah. Um. Um. The board one. Ah, uh, oh yeah. Don't if go in there because you you're, call see. If you're calling me, Mister. You're sorely fucking mistaken. I'm I didn't sorry. get my doctor for nothing. Doctor, oh, yeah, 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 doctor, doctor. When you go down there, you can't see, so just feel the way you want to go. And and don't answer her. Just just agree with her. Oh, and um. Don't fire any weapons. Don't use any disciplines. No, no, no. Go in peace. Do it with peace. Otherwise, uh... I'm just gonna uh, make the snappy motion yeah. with my finger. Okay. And with that, uh, I'm gonna break the circle with my foot in the middle of him talking. I'm ignoring him. Uh, he, he quickly rasp out. Don't fear the lightning! He is dragged beneath the soil 
by its demonic shadow, proclaiming it, it was time demonic... for his judgment. SD question: Was that the same shadows we saw at the um, caves? I cannot answer that. Different... You have been dragged <laughs> oh, to judgment. Well, time for a show. <laughs> Luke. So as that all just as happened. he gets dragged down back into the ground, uh, Javier is going to start uh, swinging that medallion around his fingers like it was a whistle, and he was a lifeguard at some neighborhood pool, and just turn around and <sighs> that went better than expected. Javier, in your mind, all you hear is wee <laughs> as you swing it faster and faster. Now, this is all wonderfully new to me, and it was a fantastic um, performance worth the watching. But what was it you were expecting that that actually went better than? No one got eaten. If you set the bar there, that is true. Better to be surprised in a good way. Luke, well, you, you want to say something? <laughs> Mr. Van Doren, uh, is there more you would like to do or see, or shall I return you from whence you came? I am of mind to have a little or to offer a little chat with Mr. Milliner, whose office has contacted my office, whose people have reached out to my people. And I think it is time for people to be aside and for perhaps those concerned to sit down and have a little tete a tete, as it were. We can definitely set that up. Wonderful. I will happily await the time and place whatever it is to your convenience absolutely thank you and with that then uh rico oh another ride in that beautiful car of yours um can we take an even more scenic route back to the city I, oh, but of course, lounging in that back seat is pure decadence it is a level of hospitality I have not had a ride oh, since the days of the uh, diesel engines and the steam engines when the, the cars were oh, so beautifully appointed. It was the way to travel. Your car is almost, oh, dare I say, it's there. Oh, well, I, I, uh, I am impressed with your compliment. Thank you. And I'm certain she'll appreciate your compliment as well. It has been a great pleasure um, seeing you all again. It has been wonderful seeing you, Ms. Strong, and meeting you, Ms. Rosa. I hope to see you both again sometime, perhaps when I can offer my own hospitality. Uh, until we uh, meet again, gentlemen, have a wonderful evening. And we'll escort him back to the car and... Uh, Luke, I figured you're going to stay here because you and Carlisle have something to work out. So uh, you stay here and I've got Mr. Vendor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you all right, Luke? Do they always look like. No! No, we're not okay! <laughs> no. Fucking ghost shit. Jesus Christ. Fuck. That's a fair reaction. So, are we going to head to the place now? I mean, we want to get there before they get back, right? In case they want the book. That seems wisest. Carlisle would turn to Jude. Mm -hmm. We're going. Very well. 
You got your unless, answer, Luke. Unless Blanc did your phone call. Uh, was that important or not? It was. Any new information on the on the all of this? I have to meet with them to see if there's any anything worth it. But I Who's do know they uh, Ash. Ah. The, the thin blood I mentioned earlier. Mm-hmm. Something funny with that one. <clears throat> there's a lot funny with that one. Mm-hmm. Yes. They did tell me that they have a copy of the book made mention by Mr. Way. Wonderful. So, should things not pan out with Luke's trip? I don't need any fairy tales. That's all the that book is. The Book of Nod. Either way, best it not be left uh, somewhere else. Better in our hands. Who knows what you might find. Elders or sleeping beings beneath the city. That's what I'm concerned with. Yes. One already out. Twelve left. Yes. Clearly they were doing some kind of ritual, I would assume, to wake them up. Yeah, that earthquake is not good news. Not at all. Not for anyone. It's very connected with the goings-on that Mr. White was talking about. Uh, specifically with St. Clair Enterprises. Mm. That's true. Reminder, he said two earthquakes. Two? Yeah, the one that Victor caused in the original. That was Lillian. And Victor, or, Lily, yeah. or, or Frederick, you are viscerally aware of the occurrence the night that the earthquake occurred in Northern Virginia. Everybody was. There was no mistaking that particular occurrence. Let's is, go. Is Von Dern still with us? Or I thought he left with Rico. He's, he's left leaving with Maybe Rico. Maybe off. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, bye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Blanca, go to your meeting. Everyone else will go to the where this um, werewolf hand was. Very well. Interested to know about that. Yeah. Unless you need someone to go with you. As Luke dons his chicken mask. <laughs> those gathered disperse in their directions the esteemed visit from Mr. Frederick Von Doren hmm. coincidental, timely maybe, maybe both but they are motivated and moving we thank you very much for joining us this evening for another edition of Prince William by Night Season 2, The Night Shift we love each and every one of you, we've had fun. I hope you've had fun going along for the ride. Please stick around for our PSA that will follow this video shortly. We uh, take our friends' health and mental health very seriously. Most of us have had some kind of interference with our lives, whether it be directly or indirectly through friends, family, or personal experience in the world of mental health. And please don't look to the person that you haven't seen in eight months, call them up and say, Hey, how you doing? You'd be surprised what you might hear. We love you all. We'll see you another night. Thank you so much for joining us. See you next time on the night shift. Bye. Bye. Fantastic. So as we That's do, totally Rosa does too. as we do, when we wrap up from every session, as we go through each of our players and myself, and we look for high points, low points, and a nomination for a potential XP, and we're gonna go around the clock like we always do. Um, we may start somewhere funny this time. Let's, uh, and we're also including that this is the last session as well. So, so. I will divvy up points accordingly based on who's here for the voting. 
Um, does that make sense to you guys? So this is voting for last night and tonight. Yeah. So you get two votes. I was gonna say you. If you were there, you get one vote. If you weren't, and those will be divvied up appropriately. Is that fair? Sure. All right. Let's go with Rico. Hi, low and an arm, sir. Uh, well, uh, a high was actually having uh, our lovely guest star, Mister uh, Cliff, over here. I think that was excellent. I think it was very nice having uh, somebody else to to play off of, uh, especially someone who did a great job of playing the charismatic and debonair Frederick Van Doren. Uh, Lowe's, um, actually, I was worried with the number of people at the table, like there's 10 of us here, that we have a lot more stepping on toes. We did fantastic. So, so, so really, the, the, that low was a concern I was going, I had, but it didn't, it didn't happen. So really, I don't, I don't really have anything in the way of a low. Um, for tonight's episode, I am going to give it to Mr. Uh, Chase, because of the fact that he had to halfway through the episode play another character. <laughs> like, he just said, oh shit, I'm now going to play this one. And he just, yes. and he just you know, switch, shift, shifted gears very nicely, and I thought that was very, very well done. So, so well done, sir. Excellent. Oh, we also have a little bit of maintenance to do when we wrap up, too. Sorry, I should have done it on camera. My bad. We have some stains to resolve. Uh, <laughs> Carlisle. We do. Yes. Stains. Speaking of stains, <laughs> little bleach should be fine. Dice aren't always mm. nice, y'all. Last night, um, I have to give it up to Chase because <laughs> the sight of Jude handing out candy bars to children <laughs> and then <laughs> a bag rips and and his eyes are just like <laughs> happy so, Halloween, Chase. <laughs> That shit was on point. Happy Halloween, kids. Uh, that was definitely a high. The other was uh, Randy finally extending himself out and us getting to see a much darker tone out of a uh, solemnly quiet individual. And and it definitely points out that aspect of a family that hasn't been pushed often enough. So congratulations, sir, for stepping up. Um I didn't have any lows of last night besides f feeling your pain with all that face paint. <laughs> thank you, Sean. God thank you. Bless you for having that stamina to when put I up for, it, for man, so fucking I late. I lost all of my willpower rolls. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I can't do it no more. I'm sorry, guys. For last night, uh, I have to give it to Blanca because of her pushing her character's involvement um and getting to see those physical changes continuing to unfold i'm finding that to be a very entertaining storyline for this evening uh a kiss that i was not expecting to see <laughs> but um me too i would have to <laughs> mm. uh, but for tonight i actually have to give it to mark <laughs> and his uh expressions yeah. and his reactions they definitely showed the outer portions of the family's reactions to everything that's going on and it's good to get a introspect on either side of that so Thanks. last night chase tonight mark is that correct yes awesome yes sir there uh how you hanging I'm doing good, doing good. A little more tired tonight than last night. I was ready to go. And yeah. uh, unfortunately, <laughs> that's my low is that we ended up cutting it and not having jacks available. Because yeah, that, that was a bummer. Story is, is a big bummer for me. Uh, Jax was really ripping through a whole lot of change and yeah. emotional. And mm -hmm. I have to give it to her for she has my a free fall there for a little night. bit. <laughs> uh she she was strong she was there she she was developing and uh that's really what we're all looking for with our characters is, is seeing that change and that growth and that uh ability to go from one step to another show progression 
Mm -hmm. uh, that's very hard to do when you're trying to play a character you don't know, which means she knows her character. We all know our characters. We're, we're, we're showing that growth, that change, that continuation. And I think that's where uh, every one of us uh, is doing an excellent, excellent job. Uh, you guys as are far awesome. as time goes, I have to give it to Javier. Javier, uh, Randy, you, you've done amazing, amazing. Uh, I, I just want to hear from you more still, okay? <laughs> fair, fair enough. <laughs> Mentioning Mr. Oh, you know what? Let's go with um, Luke. Mr. Chicken. The only <laughs> cock in the room. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, tonight was uh, tonight was really fun. Um, I got to use this dumb, stupid chicken. Oh, it's fantastic, like, man. Like two months ago. Um, um, yeah, I, I, I got to do that. Um, I guarantee you got cool points with the with the Malkavians. I mean, that took balls, <laughs> dude. <laughs> yeah, no, it was it was good. Um, yeah, I guess that that um, that would kind of be my high, along with just um, getting to resolve a storyline that's kind of been established since the start of this season. Uh, summoning uh, Ezekiel White was kind of like one of the main coterie goals at the start. Um, and also, not as easy as one might think. <laughs> no, no. Um, I guess my lows is I think I kind of stumbled over my words when we first started out, but I think I kind of got into it at the end. Like I was able to play off people a lot better. Um, now my nomination has to go to um, Javier, just because um, he he really played the wraith interaction really well. You could tell us something that um, he was a player is really thinking about how it was going to go and how to do it. And I felt he fit that role perfectly. Um, yeah, it was, it was just great. Excellent. Yeah. How about who we got? Who we got? We got uh, Mr. Von Doren. Cliff. Hope you had a good time, man. Make sure I'm off mute. I had a great time. Anytime you want Van Dorn to come out and join us, man. I am more than happy to come back and play Mount Gavian for all y'all. Because uh, that that this was a lot of fun. The the personal low for me was yeah, I know David, you and I have talked about Van Dorn a lot, but I still don't have a full grasp of what he is. So we a lot embodied of him well. was a lot of tonight was okay. Do I say something? How many breadcrumbs do I drop for? At this <laughs> table, should I? everyone will and, tell you go for broke. Yeah. <laughs> and, All the and, breadcrumbs. Uh, the the rest of you wouldn't have seen it, but there were moments where David was handing me things in chat, going, "You would know this," and I'm like, "Uh huh." And I don't. I, didn't, I wasn't saying thing. this is what you have to not, say. Not not handing them anything. Not yet. <laughs> and then every now and then you go, "Oh, you'd know this." Okay, that I'll give them. That I'll hand them. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what they do with this. <laughs> so yeah, no, any anytime you want, uh, I am more than happy to come back and play Van Dorn. Um and I, I might just Van Doren all over some of the uh the the, the Discord play nice stuff. Just, just, <laughs> just, just because yeah. <laughs> just because I've I've wanted to get my hands on Dr. Vice, so Oh, yes. oh shit! <laughs> oh <yeah>. shit! <laughs> gotta gotta take care of the grandkids, you know. <laughs> Bring him a stuffed teddy bear. Make sure they hear the right stories. <laughs> I can't um, wait for yeah. Revenge to watch this. <laughs> uh -huh. um, the, 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 the the highs, so many of them, really. Um, white, uh, fantastic wraith playing, really. Great that job. was just awesome. Yeah, great job. And and working <laughs> off of uh, working off against uh, the Javier against Randy's Javier was just. And I love towards the end where it's like, okay, just shut up, go away. I'm gonna cut the fetter. Screw you. I'm done. <laughs> Quiet. Was just. I I love the progression from tell us everything to oh go away. Um. The, the <laughs> Chase's kiss, best. I did not see that coming. I don't think anyone would. Nope. And I, I got a feeling all the nope. viewers at the same time would be going, what the what? hell? <laughs> okay. 
Ah, Kindred do that? Um, <laughs> Luke's Luke's chicken head, dude. That's just <laughs> it's amazing how you can wear a mask and hide your expression and still rock it. <laughs> no doubt. You know, beautifully. Yeah. That you 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 could tell what was going on even when that chicken head was covering your face. Um, and I, I, I am a huge, and some of you have heard me say this before, I am a massive fan of Hakata. I, I have been a Giovanni stan since day one. Uh, so I got to say, CJ was beautifully played. The, the, and playing with the lighting and stuff as well. Just remarkably well done. Not overstated, not overspoken, just the right amount of everything. Mm-hmm. You'd have to and not be we, paying attention to understand Mr. Milner. He's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, Rico was just pure fun. Um, just the, the car was, I, I fell in love with that car the moment it was described. It was like, damn, now I need a pink Cadillac. <laughs> <laughs> I have to talk to my wife, see if I'm allowed it's, to own this beast. It's, mm. a, Mary Kate, it's a Mary Kay spent. Yes. Yep. 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 Mary Kay paints. Yep, yeah, and I I remember seeing those beasts around. It's been a long time, but yes. <laughs> and then the only person I really don't know uh, who I got to meet tonight for the first time and who I've not even kind of seen was uh, Ms. Rosa, and wonderfully played from the from the the the, the Rorschach, uh, Rorschach to the the phone call to the it was it was nice watching a group where everybody worked together but people still peeled off and did their own little thing and then came back to the group um there was no let's fracture the group and to you check out this dungeon oh, we room have plenty of that to go just that hold, way. hold my beer see my season what you wish for yeah tonight tonight was really well done it tonight was was, it was a, a fantastic amoeba of player characters that would go out and then you know come back so yeah no awesome um to to uh to nominate one for uh, you know is really really difficult for me but oh, if i were going to nominate one um it would definitely be chase because that cast oh, just thank you <laughs> that was that that was the icing on the cake it really was there was a lot of cake going on and a lot of icing but that was that little cake. uh that little <laughs> blue rose that you kind of look at and go oh, I, I i want that that that's my piece of cake so yeah <laughs> Excellent. Mr. Javier. It was your night Man. twice. Yeah, so many highs. Uh the 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 candy bar incident and Jude <laughs> calling the you know, yelling at the kids, calling them little fucking heathens. That was, <laughs> that was beautiful. Uh his his potential workplace harassment lawsuit. Uh it just man, it just gets better and better. Uh Guilty till proven in, in a simple <laughs> <continue. laughs> I gotta protect uh, my client. <laughs> man, it did. It went. It, it went better than I could have hoped. So, uh, very thrilled with how it turned out. Uh, I don't really have any lows other than um, uh, the next time I get to play with Mr. White is probably going to be the last time anyone plays with Mr. White. Mm. Uh, mm. Oh. <laughs> Threats. Well, <laughs> delicious, <laughs> lovely threats. Uh, uh, you still got our threads to make. <laughs> we do but, uh, as, as far as uh, my vote for MVP, so for last night, I would have to give it to Jude. Uh, for tonight, uh, honestly, I'm going to give it to Zeke and Mr. White. Thank hey, you, Master. <laughs> Mentioning the disembodied voice, Mr. Zeke, you white midwife. Hope you I'm got a whole high bunch of on sir. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go date night one first. High point, Jude, Jesus, anguish, Christ, man. <laughs> I thought Keats was a G. Jesus, <laughs> loved it. Sarah, your little interaction with um, the kids and 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 Joe and it's gringo bendito was just mm, beautiful. Between Jax and Rosa being all, oh, you know, we're all feminine and, you know, we can attract anything in the room and just walking through, you know, being, you know, women. It's like, that was really well done. <laughs> and then you had Milner being Milner. <laughs> <laughs> Get on the phone. Do this. And no, somebody's got to take I, charge. I mean, damn, y'all are <laughs> a fucking herd of cats. <laughs> yeah. 
That's true. Um, first night, Nam is going to go to Jax, if I can. You may. And You were present. Yep, and a secondary mention to Mr. Jude, because goddamn it, kids with the candy. <laughs> Second night, more of the same. I like seeing Rico and his suave, debonair ways, and, <laughs> you know, fancying with Frederick, and, oh, you want to lounge in Rosarita? See, <laughs> see. It was, it was great fun. Um, again, nomination goes towards Jude, because... <laughs> <laughs> you sucked your face, literally. Oh my goodness! <laughs> uh, Amazing, <man>. fantastic. <laughs> and and a down final down. nomination towards Luke because I don't think I've seen a man produce panic as well as I've seen a man panic when Mr. Three Hundred Sixty Exorcist. I can't see you. <laughs> came on screen. I was like, okay, she's real. <laughs> yeah. I see you take my head off. <laughs> He's like, what the shit? fuck? <laughs> so surreal. You wanted some I of that it. acid. <laughs> Press the hollow projector. <laughs> the funny thing is, if you were searched as corpse, you would have found the acid. Oh, yikes. <laughs> <laughs> that is true for a CQ <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, my goodness. What can I say? Toss the body? Come on, always toss the body. What I mean, I we say? found. Let's see. There was Every the ketamine, night, the acid. He he never learned. That's why he's a wraith. I thought we covered yeah. that. Like, <laughs> 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 what can I say? Every night I get to play with you guys is an absolute treat. I mean, you guys are fun. Are you I mean, there's so, what? Did we not get Blanca? I'll you? shut the hell up. I am so sorry, ma'am. Please. You didn't, the you didn't stage the mic is yours. She will I get the chocolate and whip the storytelling. <laughs> yeah. okay. I wasn't going to gonna this, so. gonna say anything. I, well, I, um, I had jotted something down next to your name with somebody's name. I can't say who, but. Oh. Maybe that. Okay, never mind. I know what that was. Never mind. Go ahead. You you also <laughs> forgot me. Oh, my God. Also forgot you. It's okay. Yeah. You're, you're a piece of shit. The head of the table. <laughs> Um, He's not used to this many people. Let's just give him that excuse. Please, Matadarosa, entertain us. I'm sorry. Oh, gosh. Um, shit. I don't fucking know, <laughs> you guys. <laughs> I knew. I kept looking at your names. I'm like, I jotted things next to them. Why are they? Okay. Well, I'm um, serious. I was confused. Yeah, no, please don't even worry about it. I really wasn't going to say anything. I was just going to keep my mouth shut. Um, so first night, um, honestly, the whole thing was a high, like just so much fun, especially hitting Jude's car. That was great. Um, <laughs> <laughs> loved that. That's no, it wasn't. My favorite. <laughs> no, it wasn't. <laughs> I, I think probably my favorite part of that is is less even that I like that we hit his car, but more so the instant panic in <laughs> CJ and Sarah. I'm like, no, 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 yeah. no, no. Don't, you should have hit that. any other car in Manassas. <laughs> I could have sworn like, you said we. You're not French. Carlisle might have even <laughs> said hit his car. we'll cover that. It's okay. <laughs> Yeah, no, they, that instant panic was a high for me for sure. Um, I don't fucking do lows, guys. I can't do lows with this group. Okay, you keep asking me to do it, and I just can't. So I refuse. Okay, okay. If you um, don't, nomination you don't. though, uh, for for last night would be for Jax. That similar to what Sarah said or Natalie said about the progression in her. Uh, just magnificent the way she played her her moment with her mother um both for me personally was therapy and for Blanca was like yes <laughs> like was all about that you know Bahari sense is tingling um and then for tonight guys listen <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what to tell you um so I, I would actually I would have a low for myself because my my instinct when Jude kissed Blanca was to hurt him. 
Yes, was to was like to bite him, and then the blood that came out spit in his face. But then I was like, dice rolls. The dice went another way, and I was like, do I still do this? Ugh, I'm just gonna go with the dice. So that's a low for me. I feel like I should have kind of just went my, with my instincts anyway. Um, so that's note for self. Um, nomination. I'm gonna have to give it to to Mr. White, Mitwad. That you. The voice is utterly terrifying the kind of reveal of this shadow creature that like hangs over him and is a part of him and yet its own entity entirely um amazing yeah yeah no you were fine but yeah the nom definitely goes to him because that that was wild thank you (laughs) excellent Mr. Jude, I do apologize. I have some very chaotic <laughs> notes tonight. That's all good. <laughs> and last night, I, I apologize so I. for real. Wait, will it will it show you? It won't show you. I have chaotic notes sure. too. <laughs> Doctor Jude. All right. Uh, somebody call out the authorities because everyone killed it. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Last night, I, I would definitely say uh, Jackson Reese stole the show. Uh, she was very passionate uh the the stuff with with her mom was really good the way that she ripped off of everyone was really awesome um tonight frederick frederick did it so uh frederick is my nom tonight um uh the the highs uh there were so many highs uh between javi's javi's talk uh cj's sternness rico's like like fun free nature that they brought to it uh luke like being frightened, uh, but also like being a, a, there's multiple facets of Luke that we're finding out, which is really cool. Uh, Blanca almost eating my face. I wish she would have thought it'd been terrific. That's a, actually the only reason that why ecstasy <laughs> that the only reason like Jude was like, I have to do something drastic at this moment to snap them out. And also like their face is going to open. So if I smashed my face against theirs, cause like <laughs> their hands were like tied it was like this is like logistically like the best way to do it yep rationalize his way out of that and blanca will remember so <laughs> fantastic i didn't forget anybody else right we get we're good we got everybody around the board awesome so yeah like i was saying um wow every chance i get to play with you guys uh, is just a treat it's an absolute treat you guys are fantastic you're wonderful to play with you're wonderful to plan and scheme and plot with in the backgrounds and every one of you deliver um thank you zeke for being a part of season one and coming back for this and whatever else comes forward good to see you again my friend glad to know you're still living and breathing um cliff thank you for coming out and being a guest with us we hope you enjoyed your visit to our table we're welcome to have you pleasure um a moment of silence for our missing jacks because she was supposed to be here (laughs) seriously um yeah it would have been a a very different set of occurrences were jacks present um (laughs) i had plans for plans um (laughs) on both sides of that coin um last night was was coin (laughs) (laughs) um last night was fantastic y'all i wanted to continue you have no idea (laughs) i i'm sorry the the burning sensation in my face one (laughs) Um, don't apologize but last night was so much fun so uh, cliff what you may not know is that last night we had planned to be done in three to four hours and we're going till after 1 a.m. Um, and we probably pulled out three Sometimes. full hour scenes, yep. hour and a half scenes out of all that. Um, only interruptions were my face. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes the game just rolls. Um, last night, I'm, my highs were just stacked on stacked on stacked. Javier, you guys getting to see like the fruition of his casting and his storytellers boom. Like, this is the shit that happens when you cash that in. Um, yes. So the next one that's been cashed, we look forward to seeing what finish is coming out from that. Uh, if y'all haven't read it, that's your own damn fault. Um, I can't. <laughs> what do you mean you can't? Isn't that in the storyteller's corner? No. 
Oh. CJ put something out public. You I actually read. did not. Oh, oh you I put know. it in the Hikata chat then and I'm for just a those individuals who are involved. <laughs> Look at her, I got That's her That's why we have up. a clan <laughs> chat. That's why I didn't say <laughs> shit. I so by public, anything. I mean the family. <laughs> the, the people who need to know know. It's okay, Monday, Monday, I'm a Monday story is... alert and I'm not included, so it's okay. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> Can't even talk to anyone about Every, it. Great. <laughs> everybody doesn't get to know everything. Um, no. Which also makes it fun, because I get to watch my other fellow storytellers react to shit that they didn't know was going to happen. And like, yes. <laughs> Inside, I'm like, got you. Yeah. Outside, I'm like, god damn it. Now I've got to really work that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, last night, um, really a toss between Jackson and Javier. You guys were fantastic getting to see what you bring to the table in more than 15 words um fantastic <laughs> good job Jax went through roller coaster zeke you were a great driver in the roller coaster seat uh both last night and tonight uh last night it's gonna go to Jax for me um tonight yeah the kiss of death <laughs> <That's> <laughs> fantastic Luke showing up with the chicken hat and just like witnessing all of those Scooby Doo tales manifest in front of him in like one damn night is just terrific. Uh, Frederick, you captured him. That was awesome to see. Like from season one and what I had of him in my mind, you captured him. That was cool. Thank you. That was a pleasure to watch. Thank you. Um, Blanca, everybody, Sarah just everything dj still didn't get to pull the pull the trigger on his neat little trick we'll see that at some point i'm sure um yeah you guys are you guys are too much i i'm thankful i really am from the heart i'm thankful um tonight mr javier you had your night you got your spotlight you got to show off your shit and show people i'm not just a quiet voice in the corner i don't fuck with me <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to own you now. I'll see you later. <laughs> yeah. That was Fucking outstanding. Yikes. Patience pays. So that's some tricky counting. Hold on. Ah, uh, wow. You guys are all fantastic. Thank you, Cliff, for joining us. Fantastic. Mr. Uh, White, again, Ezekiel, my, my good to pleasure. have you back at the table, sir, and your creepy ass self. <laughs> Same time, I will be back with a Hikata later. <laughs> uh, let's see. For night Come to one, the yes. one, two, three, four, five. Uh, if my count's right, it's Jax for night one. Mm -hmm. And okay. it looks like a tie between Jude and Javier for tonight. Is that right? Sounds about right. So that I'll sounds take like it. Everybody take four points if you participate paid it between last night and tonight. Hell yeah. Nice. I so mean, I can bet my rate up higher. Happy Dia de los Mortes. <laughs> I think you all Does that are mean fantastically I get more, you know amazing. Okay. And that we're, we're cut and clear. <laughs> Hello, my name is Troy Chapman, and I play Rico Suede on Prince William by Night, The Night Shift. I'm here to remind you that your mental health is a very important thing. We all have problems, and I do mean all of us. I personally have suffered from both clinical depression and suicidal ideation. Sometimes it can be hard to share our issues because we don't want to burden other people, or we're too afraid or ashamed of the things we have done or the feelings that we have to even try to reach out to other people. But friends and family are here for a reason. They would much rather hear that something is happening in your life and help you with it than to find out too late that they didn't even know and they couldn't even try. If you feel that you can't talk to your friends or family, there are other resources available for you to talk to. Please take advantage and reach out to them. There is no need for you to go through this alone. We all need help sometimes. There is absolutely no reason to feel ashamed or afraid to ask for assistance, especially if you need it right now. If you or someone you know is in crisis, whether they are considering suicide or not, please call 
the toll-free lifeline at 800-273-TALK to speak with a trained crisis counselor 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. The National Suicide Prevention Lifeline connects you with a crisis center within the Lifeline network that is closest to your location. Your call will be answered by a trained crisis worker who will listen empathetically and without judgment. The crisis worker will work to ensure you feel safe and identify options and information about mental health services in your area. Your call is completely confidential and free. Again, that number is 800-273-8255. If you are unable, unsure, or prefer not to speak in person, text the word NAMI to 741741 to connect with a trained crisis counselor to receive free 24 by 7 crisis support via text message. You are not alone. Trained expert advocates are available 24 by 7 to provide confidential support to anyone experiencing domestic violence or seeking resources or information. Help is available in Spanish as well as other languages. Call the National Domestic Violence Hotline toll-free at 800-799-SAFE. Again, that is 800-799-7233. If you or someone you know has been sexually assaulted, help is available. Call the National Sexual Assault Hotline toll-free 24 hours a day, 7 days a week at 800-656-HOPE. Again, that is 800-656-4673. You will be connected with a trained staff member from a sexual assault service provider in your area that offers access to a range of free services. For the Disaster Distress Helpline, call 800-985-5990 or text the word TALK WITH US to 66746. This helpline provides immediate crisis counseling for people who are experiencing emotional distress due to any natural or human-caused disaster. This multilingual, confidential, and free helpline is available 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Again, call 800-985-5990 or text TALK WITH US to 66746.